Howdy y'all, Dean Stilly here from the official home of unofficial Grateful Dead and Music News, reporting on night seven from uh, Walnut Creek, and uh, we'll get to that in a bit. We're going to start out with some fun. Uh, we, if you like J-Rad and you want to go see J-Rad at the Band Shell in Brooklyn on July 19th, that's the, the week after Dead & Company tour ends, and you want to go with me, uh, uh, we got an exciting uh, contest we're going to run. It, it, it's going to be uh, a, a high-level nobody package you're going to get. You're going to get to experience the concert just like I would, a high-level nobody. Uh, uh, the, the package and the, the whole idea is Peter Shapiro's idea. And, and Jewish Santa Claus it, it, uh, gave us the package, and, and we're going to have a great time. You can come with me to see J-Rad in Brooklyn. Uh, like a high level nobody. Uh, no waiting on lines, because I don't like waiting on lines. Uh, uh, we'll get to meet a few members of the band, but uh, probably not Joe, because when you're a high level nobody, you uh, you meet some people, but uh, you, you rarely meet the big name. But, but, but we're going to meet some musicians. We're, uh, no lines for food, no lines to get in, uh, no lines for going to the bathroom, no lines. It's a no line package. Uh, so you're going to live life like a high level nobody and you're going to do it with me. We're going to have fun in Brooklyn. So uh, in the comments, let me know if, if you want to go, if you can attend and you want to go, hashtag it JRAD. Uh, or something like that, and we're going to be running this thing throughout tour. We're going to pick some winners. Uh, uh, it's a high-level nobody package. Going to be outstanding. Uh, going to come with a ton of benefits. Uh, uh, you're going to get to uh, maybe even sit on Peter's lap, tell him what you want for Hanukkah. Uh, we're going to work out some special prize uh, packages. We got it all together. We're going to have a blast at J-Rad at the Band Shell in Brooklyn. So anyway, that's that. L let's get on to uh, Dead & Company's uh, night seven of the tour. Uh, uh, here we are in Walnut Creek, not a ton of memories from from uh, from Walnut Creek as far as the Grateful Dead goes, but uh, you, you know, we get in, in Charlotte in 89, you get the California earthquake, right? That, that was preceded by the, uh, the California earthquake on 10-20-89 in, in Philly. Uh, the show you want to look at, that tour was just packed with good shows. You had uh, started with the Warlocks and uh, boy, we went uh, carried on a week later, and we got the Nightfall of Diamonds, Weir's birthday at, at the Meadowlands, and then we went to the Spectrum. We had a blast in Philly that fall. Uh, uh, I got so tired of my car that was having problems. I left the damn thing in the lot after the last night of Philly. Just left it in the lot. Just uh, took my stuff. I left my car in the lot. I was done with the car and did the rest of the tour. I have no idea what ever happened in that car, but such is the case in Grateful Dead Land. 10 1989 in Philly, you want to, if you're new to the music, that's the show you want to listen to. That They took the best uh, uh, of everything and they, they threw it into that one. Uh, that one, you get Help Slip Frank, Estimated Eyes, Drum Space, Dear Mr. Fantasy, Hey Jude. I, but that, that hits just that one. You want to check out Death Don't Have No Mercy. You want to put your ears to 10 1989 from Philly. One of my favorite shows that that uh, that I saw as a tour in person. And uh, boy, that one was a good one. That one was a good one. Anyway, let's get on with uh, with Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek w w w opens up. We get cold rain and snow, which to me is not very believable because John's never married him a wife, and he has no idea what that problem's like. So uh, he don't know what that trouble's like. Anyway, he did a fine job with it. Uh, I like the guitar he plays on that. The silver one's my favorite. Anyway, we, from that we get the greatest... And it, it maybe wasn't the greatest story ever told, but uh, that one could be called It's an Okay Story That He Told. Uh, Peggy O comes next, and uh, Peggy O actually seemed like it actually, the pace on Peggy O actually picked up, so didn't feel like the song went on for two and a half days. Uh, I thought it was just fine. Mexicali Blues, you get the Mexicali Blues, went all the way to Mexico, didn't get Mexicali Blues. Uh, right there in North Carolina, you get Mexicali Blues, so there you go. Tennessee Jed, song about absolutely nothing, guy and his dog, people in Tennessee, I don't know if you're from Tennessee, probably crazy about that song. Garcia liked it, he played it plenty, the jams in there were good, I mean that one, uh, that one bounced around some and the jams were good, uh, no complaints, you get a, a bird song, uh, it's, uh, 
it's sleepy, you know, psychedelic song, it's okay, and uh, right into Bertha, you know, we right into Bertha, uh, that's interesting, uh, maybe take the Bertha, put that at the beginning, is that Bertha Greatest combo, that one we got a lot of back in the day, uh, those two seem to show up a lot together, so anyway, we get the Bertha in the middle of the bird song, since they don't know how to end Bertha, we just finished Birdsong after, which is fine, because, you know, those, those Chaos Jams and Birdsong, uh, uh, they used to, and they still do, but uh, I remember back in the day when you'd be all altered and stuff. In the middle of the bird song, you forgot what the hell song you were even in the middle of. Uh, you, you'd be kind of wondering, what, what the hell, were, when this song started, what did we start at? Somewhere in the jams, you heard a, a little pieces of every song in the Grateful Dead universe, and, and uh, didn't know where the hell you were. And then that, that they bend that one string. As soon as they bend that string, you there's that calm about you, like you were lost and now you're found. And they finish up the bird song. Anyway, it was kind of like that. We start out the second set. We get throwing stones. That that, that remind me a little bit back in. Uh, uh, maybe Pine Knob 91. I, I remember something like that. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna look into it. I'm not that interested. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you were just happy as could be. You got throwing stones. Uh, a deal comes next, and deal's good for the band, and they were good on it. If there's a song that uh, I really, really dig, uh, just we're on his whole vibe. To me, it's estimated. Estimated, uh, regardless of what happens beforehand or afterwards, uh, when we're singing Estimated, he, he's at his very best. Uh, that one just, to me, is a just a shining example of why we all love We're the way we do, and, and, and he was just great on that. Uh, playing in the band comes next, so, uh, you know, we get some funky jams in there, and, and uh, uh, drum space, uh, the wheels coming out of space, and... Uh, you know, diamonds on her, you know, get the diamonds on the uh, soles of her shoes with the Paul Simon deal from uh, from John again. And, uh, you know, as Dear Prudence, uh, we are on Dear Prudence to me. I just, I don't know. Listen, I'm sure a lot of you love We are on Dear Prudence, but uh, to me, that's just because you love We are so much. And uh, like your kids singing at a talent show, uh, uh, they can go there and just be god awful, and and you're smiling and laughing and taking pictures and saying, "Oh, that's my baby." And uh, I don't. I think that's uh, how some of you are with Wheel on We are on uh, on Dear Prudence. Uh, me, not so much. Anyway, we get one more Saturday night. You know, I didn't get it last week because we got rained out. So last Saturday night we didn't get it. We get one more Saturday night. Uh, and one more Saturday night's always a fun song on a Saturday night, I guess. Uh, the acoustics come out, we get Ripple as an encore. Uh, it, listen, one man's opinion, you know, just one man's opinion. I, I never said I'm the grand poobah of Grateful Dead World or any kind of shit like that. I mean, just one guy's opinion. Uh, uh, you know, you ask me, uh, we, got some, we got some foreplay in, in Riverbend. Uh, man, uh, uh, they got some action going in Deer Creek, uh, in Atlanta, boy, that, uh, we got some climax, we finished the job, and I think in Raleigh, uh, you got cuddled, uh, I think it was a cuddle show, uh, I think we had uh, just been blasted for uh, several nights in a row, and a Walnut Creek gets the cuddle, and that's the way it's going to be sometimes. I'm sure if you were there, it was the best thing ever, best thing you ever saw. Uh, uh, you were ready to start a blog of your own to make sure that everybody knows you think it's the best thing ever. And, and that's fine. I'm happy for you. Honestly, I am. A anyway, it, it, if I'm going to SPAC, this makes me happy. This sets up great for SPAC. There's a lot of uh, wonderful things out there on the table. And, and SPAC's a, a special place for the band and all its members love that place. So so anyway, the show rolls on to uh, Dispact. That's exciting. Uh, make sure you enter the contest. We're going to have a good time on that. I uh, love you forever, and we'll talk to you after Dispact.